Good morning. It's Lisa with Soul Shine, and I'm here at the shop, obviously. And it kicks off the beginning of November open house weekend. It's Bazaar weekend, which I love to say. Um, the, our little sleepy town has lots of little church bazaars going on, and I have a feeling it's going to be crazy busy. So I wanted to just jump on real quick while the shop was quiet and and drop my little whatever kind of comes up kind of wisdom. Um, so this morning I wanted to chat about um, just kind of waking up. Um, sometimes we walk through life just doing the same things over and over and over again and we feel um, like that's the norm and, and you don't even know any different. You don't even know what could be better in your life. So um, one of the things and suggestions that, that were, was a big aha to me was just to change one thing. So if you have one messy drawer, just pick one thing. Like I know everything can get overwhelming and then for me, um, when things get overwhelming, you just end up doing nothing and you just wanna stay in the same routine, um, blindly, you know, kind of trudging through your day and not feeling joy and not feeling feelings and all that stuff. Um, just kind of suppress it all down and make it stay sleepy. So in order to start waking up, um, if that's your desire, I don't even know if some people even know that they're asleep spiritually, just walking around and kind of trudging. But um, just pick one thing, one thing that you can just do a little bit differently. Like maybe you have one drawer in your house that's really messy and just clean that one drawer that day and then just see how good that makes you feel. And I guarantee, I guarantee it's contagious and you're gonna wanna do something else. It's almost like that book, if you give a mouse a cookie, how he talks about, if I give a mouse a cookie, he's gonna want a napkin to wipe off his mouth. And if I give him a napkin, he's gonna want a blanket. And if he, I'm just ad-libbing, I don't really know what you give him after you give him a milk cookie, but it's probably the milk. But, um, but when you just do that one little thing in your life, you see that it kind of stimulates something in your mind and your body and you're like, Hmm, that kind of feels kind of good. I like feeling organized or healthy or whatever that one thing is you add to your life. Um, I know uh, on the grand scheme of things, if I add a thousand things and I end up getting like JoJo's Circus Monkey where I'm like, yes, I want that. I'm going to add that to my life and that to my life. And then all of a sudden I'm overwhelmed because I've added too many things at once. Um, so just start small. Just start with one little junk drawer or add two glasses of water instead of one each day or whatever. Just add one little thing to your day and just see how it makes you feel. Just pay attention. Hmm, that wasn't too bad or it wasn't that hard or it really made me feel better today or whatever, like whatever. And and let that build upon itself. Then you're like becoming aware. You're like, oh, what else can I do about my life? Or what else could I tweak a little bit? Just tiny modifications, that one degree that ends up taking you on the long run in a very different place than when you started if you had stayed in that one mindset or that one trajectory. So I know it's heavy for a Friday, sorry. But that's just where my mind goes sometimes. Sometimes you get light and fluffy soul shine. And sometimes you get deep and gritty soul shine. And this is kind of was like somewhere in between. So take it, take what you like and then kind of pitch the rest. Hopefully um, you've grabbed something that you can apply to your life and just make you a little bit more aware, a little bit more awake, a little bit more stimulated, and more like, you know, examine your life a little bit. Hmm, what can I tweak a little bit? What needs tweaking? All right, I'm gonna get the shop ready, turn on the lights, get things ready, get some music going in here, do my little morning routine, and uh, open the doors. I'm open 10 to five today and 10 to five tomorrow, as well as White House on the Square, um, Serendipity Antiques, Rosemary and Rust is going to be open, um, Evangeline Salon, Verdure Salon, Heidi's House, Tumbleweeds is open, and they're all decorated and beautiful. Um, Village Coffee has all your coffee, tea, and ice cream needs. Um, Rail Trail Cafe over in New Freedom is going to be open today. I'm trying to think what else. Who am I forgetting? Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, the ARRC, we used to be Superior Nurseries open today. Check them out, go inside, um, see what they've done differently. And then um, the shop across the street, the cute little button hook um, location right across the street is open as well. So shop to your heart's content in addition to all the church bazaars that are open today. So I hope that you know that wherever you go, and whatever you're doing today, I'm sending you much love and I hope you have a most marvelous day. Love you much. Mwah, mwah, mwah.